A cordial greeting. Today is Tuesday, September 10, 2024. This is meteorologist Ruben Garcia. In this video, I would like to discuss several disturbances we are monitoring in the tropical Atlantic region. At least two of them have a chance of cyclonic development in the coming days. Before discussing the forecast for these disturbances, I want to mention that we already have Hurricane Francine which is located in the Gulf of Mexico and strengthening as it moves toward the states of Louisiana and Mississippi. If you'd like to know more details about the forecast for Hurricane Francine, I invite you to check out a video I recorded earlier today, which is available on my YouTube channel. Let's now take a closer look at the infrared satellite imagery of the tropical Atlantic region. You can see that we currently have three circulations catching our attention. The first is associated with a disturbance, but it is projected to dissipate in the coming days and does not pose a threat for cyclonic development, although it could eventually bring some rain to the northern Lesser Antilles and Puerto Rico. Secondly, we have Invest 92, which continues to generate some disorganized thunderstorms. Fortunately, today, the National Hurricane Center has further decreased the chances of cyclonic development as the window for organization will only last for about 24 more hours. After that, as it moves west-northwest, dry air will impact the system and it is expected to dissipate by the end of this week. Like the first disturbance, Invest 92 could bring some rain to the Northeast Caribbean by next weekend. Thirdly, with better development chances, a new tropical wave has emerged from Africa and is currently over the Cape Verde Islands. This system has good circulation and appears likely to become the next cyclone of the 2024 hurricane season. It is projected to become Tropical Storm Gordon and could even develop into a hurricane in the long term. However, it seems likely that it will remain on a path over the open waters of the Atlantic. In the latest tropical outlook from the National Hurricane Center, there is a 30% chance of development for Invest 92, while the probabilities for Invest 93 have increased to 80%. It's important to note that neither system poses a threat to the Caribbean, although Bermuda should stay alert in case the future tropical storm Gordon approaches the region. Let's now check out the latest projections from the global models. Starting with the American model, here we have Invest 92 and Invest 93, and you can see their progress over the next few days. Invest 92 dissipates before reaching the Lesser Antilles, and Invest 93 strengthens into Tropical Storm Gordon as it moves over the open waters of the Atlantic. Similarly, the European model aligns with this forecast, showing Invest 92 dissipating in the coming days while Tropical Storm Gordon develops from Invest 93 by Thursday morning or afternoon, continuing a northwestward trajectory over open Atlantic waters. The same is reflected in the German model projection, with Invest 92 arriving as a weakened disturbance in the northeastern Caribbean by the weekend, while Tropical Storm Gordon forms from Invest 93. In general, all models agree that the future Tropical Storm Gordon will continue on this trajectory. For example, here we have the ensemble projections from the GFS model, all showing a trajectory gaining latitude quickly and staying far from the Caribbean. The same happens with the ensemble projections of the European model. Now that we have a much more active Atlantic, with Hurricane Francine in the Gulf of Mexico and soon to be Tropical Storm Gordon, how long will this cyclonic activity last? Looking at the long term, two favorable phases of the Madden Julian Oscillation will move across the Atlantic the first during the third week of September, and the second toward the end of September. It's possible that the next two weeks will remain quite active in the Atlantic, and we will likely have to monitor other tropical waves moving across the tropical Atlantic, not only in September, but it also seems that October will continue to see favorable conditions for strong tropical waves coming from Africa. It looks like the peak of this season will extend until mid-October. Here at Hurricane Info, I will continue recording videos to keep you informed, and to ensure you don't miss any of the videos I'll be recording, I recommend that you subscribe to my channel. Go to the bottom of the video and click the red subscribe button, then click the bell icon to receive notifications when I record new videos. Well, with that, I conclude today's video. Tomorrow morning, I will record a new video to update you on what's happening in the Eastern Pacific region. Goodbye.